Hi guys, thank you for coming back to my channel. I'm Stephanie and today we are going to be using the air fryer. I told you guys on Fridays or every other Friday, we are going to be making an air fryer um, like treat or a meal. And today we are going to be making something called banana sushi. And the boy, here's Miles right here too. And him and one of the other boys would take tortilla wraps and then put Nutella on them and then put a banana in there, cut them up, and that was their treat. Well, one night we decided that we wanted to make them in the air fryer with croissant rolls. So that's what we're gonna be making today. And I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to make them. It only takes about four or five minutes for them to cook all together. So, you're gonna help? <laughs> Evelyn's gonna help, I guess. So we are gonna get started. We're gonna unwrap some croissants. We're gonna put some Nutella on top. I'm gonna put that in the air fryer, cook it up for a little bit, and I'll show you guys like the temperature and everything that we're gonna be using. So let's get started. Miles is gonna help out today with getting things started. So he's gonna open up the croissant rolls. I've never opened up. You never opened one up. So find the little notch. Right there, it's yellow. Okay. Keep turning right on that end right there. So grab that e that silver. And then give it a good whack on the corner of the countertop. Did it open up? There you go. Oh, so you're gonna unwrap that, but you're gonna put it on the Santa plate. Okay, and then I'm gonna show you how to, before you unwrap it. Okay, so I'm gonna take over for a second because I want you guys to see exactly what you need to do. So can you hold that for me just like that? Okay, so what you wanna do, depending on how you want to unwrap them or make them, it kinda unrolls in two like separate sections. Kind of like this. So you want it to look like this. You don't want to make regular croissant rolls. You want two different pieces. So what you want to do, you need to have it to where you have like two triangles together, two triangles together, but then keep them um, like this. So you have like a square. So when you put the banana in here, you're able to roll it. So when you take it out of the wrap, you're going to kind of put them together like this and you're gonna have two four technically but two different pieces to make the banana sushi miles is going to take the natilla and he's just gonna spread that on there and we have some Little helpers here, Nash and Lachlan, are gonna stand by to- Wait until we help. Wait until you can help. Yeah, you'll help after it's cooked, okay? All right, after it's done cooked, then you and guys Lachlan can help. And me can do the pinkles. Yep. You, you, can, you can help by eat them. <laughs> yeah, you can help by eating them. Well, we'll do sprinkles too, so. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Now let's put the bananas on. Actually, if you guys, do you guys know how to open bananas? Yeah. Yes. Okay, can you open that up? And then stick the banana right on and Miles is gonna roll them up for us. Okay. Here, give me the banana peel. Okay, so Lachlan's done. Here, give me. Okay, so Miles is gonna do this now. I did it. So all you do is just put it right on top and then you would roll. Wait, roll it that way? Yep, roll it that way. Roll it right on top of it. And you're only gonna roll, you know, the one. So you gotta make sure every piece um, is gonna wrap around it. So let's unfold that a little bit to start out. There we go. And just keep on wrapping. So there you go. That's one, and then he's gonna, we're gonna turn this around. Oh, yeah, we yep, just like... stick it on top. Oh, just bring that forward. 
There we go. Yep. And then we did it. Get every piece on there and stick that up there. You can form a crease if you want to and just kind of stick everything together. We'll do that with this one too. And are we going to cut it? Uh, not yet. We're going to, we have to, we have to cook it first. Yeah. yeah. And then cut it. Okay, so we're gonna put this in the air fryer. In my other videos for my air fryer, um, I have the Power XL version. It is the, I th think, seven quart one. Okay, so we're able to fit a lot of stuff in our basket and we're able to do like whole chickens and stuff like that. If you guys want, check out my other video. I'll leave a card up above and you guys can click on that video and watch that one. I also have an unboxing video. I'll leave the card up here also. You guys can check out that one. But um, for today, we're just gonna be doing the Christmas treat, kind of any day kind of treat, quick after meal treat. Um, it's super simple. Like, I, like we just showed you, it just took a couple of minutes for us to uh, just wrap them up real quick and get ready. So we're gonna put them in the air fryer now. I'm gonna turn you guys around and show you what temp you need to put it on. Okay, so Miles is gonna help. He's gonna open up the air fryer. I'm gonna place them in there. All right. So just stick them right in there. He's gonna shut it. And once you push it all the way in, it pops on you press the power button and over here is our temperature. So I'm gonna do 320, that's what the recipe goes for. And then Miles is gonna do the temperature. So why don't you bring that down to four minutes, even though it just started, that's okay. You can just actually hold it and it goes all the way down without having. So hold it in until it goes to four minutes. We're gonna cook it for four minutes. We're gonna flip it over and then we're gonna cook it for another two minutes. So we'll come back after the four or after the four minutes is up and then we're gonna flip it. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. So if you were to, it's not picking up very well on camera, but it is golden brown. So we are going to, and it's very, very hot. So we are going to, we're gonna get something and we're gonna flip that over. Hold on, we'll show you guys, okay? Okay, we're gonna bring it back down to 320 and we're gonna cook for another four minutes. We're gonna give that a try. When we cooked it last time, it still needed to be cooked a little bit longer. So we're gonna go a little bit longer than maybe what needs to be and give that a try. So I'm gonna give you guys kind of like an accurate recipe down below on timing but for right now cook it for four minutes on one side flip it over cook it for another four minutes on the other side kind of like the same as in an oven you're still going to be cooking it for that um period of time i think it is it's like eight to some minutes anyways so we're going to cook this up and then we're going to make come sure back. that you have them wrapped pretty tightly just because everything just wants to bubble up and kind of squeeze out so as you flip them over, just be very careful because you don't want them to, you know, fall apart. So are you making noises over here? Anyway, so we're going to decorate this and we're going to try it out and see if everybody likes it and still likes it. We are just going to decorate it more of a Christmas style with some whipped cream and some sprinkles on top. So that's what we're going to be doing. I'm going to put the, them all right, so we're just going to go ahead. I went and bought just like kind of like a mix um, to sprinkle on top. So this is kind of what we wanted to do today. We are just wanting to decorate it a little bit more um, festive for the season, but you don't really have to. So there you go. Something quick and simple. And now the kids are going to give it a try and see if they like so it. So why don't you guys give it a try and see if you guys like it. I know you guys liked it last time, right? Yeah. Oh my gosh. 
kind of almost like a fried ice cream kind of it's like, like effect, I guess. Is it still warm? Mm, yeah. Mm, Is it really good, Nash? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like it though. You like it though? You're gonna go sit at your table? Yes. Okay. The banana is hot. The banana's hot? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so that was quick and easy, something fun for the kids. Um, little extra treat using your air fryer. We've been using our air fryer quite a bit the month of December. We got it in November and we've been using it for many different things. And I will, um, Continue to keep posting for you guys, coming up with maybe different recipes. Just come back and check out our other videos on Fridays for air fryers. It's either going to be every other Friday or something. It's either going to be a meal or a treat. Hopefully you guys liked our video today using our air fryer. Um, like I said before, check out some of the other videos that we've been doing with our air fryer. Other than that, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell for more videos like this.